Hello, Sirham. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your day today? It's very busy and, and tired. Oh man, yes. It's, <laughs> you know, today is Tuesday and I feel the week <laughs> very long. Yes. I feel like the week is very long, yes. All right. Hello, Sara Martinez. How are you? Hi, good evening. Um, fine. So, so I'm tired, but for my day, but I'm fine. How is Talos? Um, chilly. <laughs> yeah. Are, pe are people mentioning the the Aguinaldo already? Yes, is it uh, it's some little more more money, but it's one one complete salary. Yes, it's a full aguinaldo. Yes. No, but I remember yeah. that they, they start very early to mention aguinaldo. <laughs> yeah, in six months <clears throat> they increase um the salary for 25 dollars after six months yes hey that's good yeah <laughs> interesting <laughs> and what it's interesting because it's a yeah. uh, it's great no that's very very good all right good for you Thank you. What about you, Marce? How is life treating you? Hello. Hi, how is life treating you? Um, my life is good. <laughs> is everything okay with your boyfriend? Yes, everything is okay. So... Are, you, are you still going to marry him? <laughs> yes. Oh, good. Yes, don't change the, the mind. When are you going to get married? I don't know, but ah. right now, no. Good, so it, it's still it's a plan. Years. Yes, good. in many years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good for you. All right, Juan Jose, what's up? Hi, good evening. Hello. It's not raining today, right? What? It it hasn't rained today. Um, here in my home, no. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I think in the complete San Salvador, it hasn't rained. No, no. I think that no. All right, cool. How was your day today, JJ? Uh, many many administrative activities. Um, DVD from the uh, prepare a class from students. Um, oh, oh yeah, that's right. You're you're a university teacher, right? Yes, yes, I am a university teacher. Which university? Tecnologica? No. No, Gavidia, Francisco Gavidia. Gavidia, Gavidia. Yes, I, I teach in in uni, university techno, in technologic university too. You are you are an architect and an engineer, yeah. correct? So, yes, civil engineer. So you studied two careers? Yes, yes. Uh, I study uh, another career, but it's a master, master in education. So you can, wow, you like to study. Yes, I like, I like so much. I have a question for you. Maybe, maybe the question is stupid, but I always had that curiosity. Imagine I buy a land right? 
Do you understand a land? Yes. And I want to make a building. Correct? Okay. Yes. I, I understand that I need to ask for permission, etc. Yeah, How many, many permission. <laughs> yes. How much of that land is mine up? So is the it does like the the city give me a limit of this? You can only make a a building of ten stories, or if I want to make one hundred stories. It depends. It depends. Uh, there are some areas in San Salvador uh, where you don't build. Uh, you can't build. To, you can can build to labels. You don't can to labor. For example, in San Jacinto, uh, you can't uh, build to label. But two Zona levels. Rosa, two levels. Yes, two levels. But the Santa Rosa uh, uh, can build uh, twenty five. Labels. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I see. I've seen the beautiful buildings they're making in. Yes. By, by El Chulong. <laughs> yes. They're making nice hotels. All mm. right, cool. I always had that curiosity. I say, how much <laughs> of this land, how much of the air is mine? <laughs> yes, it, it, it depends from kind of um, land, kind of land. Oh, okay, I see. All right, cool. Nice. All right, class. So let me see. Let me open up the, the platform. So yesterday we started tag questions, didn't we? We did tag questions yesterday, didn't we? Yes or no? Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. Let me open the platform. Hold on, where are you? Okay. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, uh, let me see. Tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. We can see. Thank you. Questions for giving. Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tough questions for giving opinion. Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions or tough questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? 
It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. A tough question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tough questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? The verb in the ta question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative, and affirmative if the first verb is negative. Ta questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels, agree or disagree with these opinions. Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's Okay, let's do an agree or disagree. Let me see. Let's do agree or disagree. Who drinks beer? Do you like beer? No, I don't like beer. You don't like beer? Okay. No, because I was going to say golden light shouldn't exist, should it? Hello, class. Can you hear me today? Are you yes, there? Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Um, gasoline is expensive in this moment, isn't it? Who, who can give me an example? Give me an example, Sarah. Okay. That. Change environment is a big ground situation in all the world, isn't it? Very good. A El Salvador is still in um estado excepción, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So I said aún sigue. In estado de excepción, but yes. it's still in, in um, exception status, isn't it? Yes, it is. El Magico Gonzalez is from El Salvador. Isn't it or he? He. He. Very good. Isn't he? All right. Mr. Jacko, are you there? <clears throat> Yes, teacher. All right, can you give me an example, please? Okay. The Coca-Cola is uh, best uh, soda in, in El Salvador, is it is? Isn't it? Is, is, is it? Is it it? No. Isn't, isn't it? Is it? Um, isn't negative oh, isn't okay it. Is, yeah, okay isn't, isn't it okay yes all right very good i think the coca-cola is the best soda in the world <laughs> i think so <laughs> yeah you know i mean i mean opinions but if if we generalize coca-cola is coca-cola and the bird in the Salvador is the Suprema. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, I, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I don't like beer. I mean, I, I drink beer sometimes, but I don't like beer. I like I like liquor. I like, for example, I like tequila. I love tequila. Okay. But I don't like golden light. Or especially that extra golden light. Come on. <laughs> Like, don't it's, drink. It's only a water. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I go to the store and I see the men drinking golden. <laughs> it's like, that's embarrassing. No, yeah, because you're right. It's, it's water. I like, I like strong things. I like coffee strong. If I'm going to drink coffee, I like to feel the flavor of coffee. 
So if I drink beer, I like to feel the flavor of beer. I like Presidente. Presidente is a very good beer. I love Regia. Regia, I think, is my favorite beer in Esquivalor. All right, Nancy, give me an example. Uh, tell me the question, please, teacher. No, I you didn't. you tell me the question. We're doing tag questions. Um, do you like the pupusas, don't you? Uh, is that correct, class? Do you like pupusas, don't you? No, the pupusas are the best food in El Salvador, isn't it? No, wait, wait, but why is that not correct? Do you like pupusas, don't you? Why is that not correct? Because it's a question, don't you? It's two questions. Yes. The, the first one is, do you like pupusas? That's a question. Yes. Do you like pupusas? And the second one, don't you? So, Nancy, it has no logic. So you say like this, you like pupusas, don't you? So you have to give the affirmation. Okay. You like pupusas or the confirmation, whatever you want to call it. You like pupusas, don't you? All right, so let's see what's next. Hold on, let me see. <clears throat> yes. Okay, instructions. Listen to the news report on technology. What is the report about? Listen to a news report Can on technology. Hear? What is the report about? Yes. Check the correct okay. answer. Sports and weather are coming up. But first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier. But all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter. Especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the Internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link and then turn off the computer.
All right, so what do you think this is about? About technology problems. So it's, is it a new health problems caused by technology? Vacation ideas? What is it, A, B, or C? B. B, B. okay. Let's listen to part two. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the Internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link and then turn off the computer. All right, so what is that one? Ice stream. Ice stream. Hello? Ice stream. Hello? Ice cream. Oh man, my volume was down. I'm sorry. Okay, so what is problem number one? Ice cream. Ice cream. Me, ice cream. Good. Number two? Carpal tunnel syndrome. Number three? Gadget addiction. Gadget addiction. Good. Let's do the last part, part three. Can you hear? Yes, the yes. Sports and weather are coming up, but first here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, 
Nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain, in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link. And then turn off the computer. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let me see. So symptoms for eye strain, what are they? Eye strain, red, red, watery, watery, itchy. Watery and itchy. Hey, that's, that's very good, you know. My eyes are red, my eyes are watery, and my eyes are itchy. What is itchy when you do this? Remember the very first days of COVID, the, the, the lockdown, El Encierro, when we only could go out with Dewey's? Mm -hmm. I remember, I, remember I, I, was, I was in charge of my family to go to the supermarket for all my family. And um, I always scratch my eyes and, oh my God, I scratch my eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. I always forget not to scratch my eyes. Okay, what are the symptoms for carpal tunnel system? Pain in the hand and arms. All right, symptoms for gadget addiction. Using gadget, using gadget all day long and deep sense loneliness. 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 I think this is a problem in El Salvador now, especially with children. Yes. I don't know if you have children or you visit people that have children and they can stay all day in the ga in gadgets. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is a gadget? Yes. All right, let's do part next one. Okay, here, lesson four objective. By the end of this, participants will use relative clause. Do you know what a relative clause is? If you don't, we will learn today. Okay, let's pay attention to the video. Hello, do you remember about relative pronouns? Who, which, that? Good for you, you still remember. Now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be someone who, that is, able to think quickly, might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, looking for adventure, could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. 
someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz musician. It many relative clauses who or that has can be replaced by with. A person who or that has a good voice could be a good TV journalist. A person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist. Once a relative clause is reduced, it becomes an adjective phrase. It is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase. A person, noun phrase, working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas. Replaced by with. A Here, let's do one thing. So we can say, okay, um, let's do this. Nancy, you're single, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Please tell me, I like or I want a, a man or I want a husband who is, that is, o, lo que dice aquí, at the end, who, and that has been replaced with with. Okay, so tell me, what, what, what type of man do you want? You can invent if you want, it's no problem. Okay. <laughs> I would like a man who 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 likes who likes a cookie. Okay, who likes who cooking? Likes good. Cook. Okay. Okay, good. I will I want a man who likes to cook or I want a man that likes to cook. Okay, very good. All right. Marcela, since you are in this moment in a permanent vacation, <laughs> when you start to work, what kind of work do you want in the future? Oh, maybe I would like a work uh, that uh, <laughs> which have a good salary okay for me i want I would like a job that has a good salary what is a good salary for you more than 50 <laughs> sorry 500 <laughs> more than 500 okay yeah good. all right cool uh sara Okay, Juan, JJ, are you there? Yes, I am, I am here. Okay, JJ, um, tell me what kind of people you don't like. Um, I don't like the people that break the rules. Break the rules. Yes. But sometimes rules are meant to be broken. Okay, good. So you don't have people that break the rules. Nice. All right. Hey, this was easy. That's a relative clause when, you know, with that, it's like a connector. Okay, so let's see the next part. Knowledge check. It says, rewrite the sentences with a reduced relative clause. For example, anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of work. The answer Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Someone who hopes to be a chef should get the proper training. Someone hoping. Okay, let me see. Yes, the answer is someone Hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Yeah, I have a question. 
Yes. Um, I don't know, but I have a problem with the platform mm -hmm. because I, when I, um, when I wrote my answer, the platform has grown. It said it was wrong? Yes. Did you write all the sentence? Yes, because yeah. sometimes the period or the space, sometimes mm -hmm. the, the mistake is very minimum. Sometimes it's not grammatically. Sometimes it's, um, it's the writing. Punctuation. Yeah, yeah the punctu punctuation. No, uh, no, because I wrote my answer. And I... I... In where, in part one, in this, in number yeah. one? You wrote it in number one. Yes. This so is what I you wrote. To, yes. What I did, I made a copy paste and just changed the the beginning. No, because um, I do my homework in my cell phone. Here, copy I'm paste going... that. Copy paste that and tell me if we could. Yes. This is the uh, answer maybe from that's the, the problem. System. That's the answer from the system. So mm -hmm. I in the chat, I sent a copy paste. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. okay, class number two. Anyone who wants to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Let me see. Anyone want to Anyone be? Anyone wanting to be. All right. <clears throat> yes, anyone wanting to anyone be an actor to... needs both talent and and luck. Number three, a person who works as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. A person working. working. A person working as a comedian is always looking for a new way, for new ways to make people laugh, yes. Number four, it says people who are clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. People clear enough to get inside mind of a criminal would make good detectives. I have grown my answer, teacher, because I wrote people clevering enough and it was wrong. Yes, it's true. You can't say clevering. Do you know why you can't say clevering? No. Because clever is not a verb. Oh, okay. Yeah. Clever is an adjective. Yes. Okay. That's my mistake. No, it's okay. It <laughs> happens. Number five, anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Anyone dreaming. Yep, anyone dreaming. Become a change. Yes, anyone dreaming. Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Number six, oops. Someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Someone Answer. is responsible. Responsible, perdón. Yes, so, someone responsible for a large, large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. That would be a coordinator, no? Yes. Okay, next it says, in this class participants will discuss personal creativity and practice lesson vocabulary. Let's see what this is about. Creative quiz, let's listen. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Tell your partner. Do you agree? 
How creative are you? Let me see. Are you a risk taker? Is anyone here a risk taker? Um, rarely. Sometimes. Rarely, sometimes, uh -huh. okay. Me, now that I am a father, I am maybe never a risk taker, but before, always. Mm. Are you naturally curious? Do you know what curious is? Always. Yes. Yes, oh. yes I am. <laughs> Yes, me too. I am always curious. I am always asking questions. <laughs> Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Sometimes. 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 Okay. Okay, that's good. Sometimes it's good. Are you sensitive to beauty? Mm, what that exactly means, teacher? Excuse me? What does frost exactly mean? Yes, I, I think I think this is a stupid question, but mm -hmm. when it says are you sensitive to beauty, it's like like a, to be a vanidoso? But not necessarily human beauty. It can be any any beauty, like like if you see a, a beautiful piece of art, you cry. Oh no. No, never. Never. Oh. Okay. You know what? I am sensitive to beauty. What? To the earth. Well, it, it could apply to the flowers. Okay, you like flowers? Okay. But I like, but I'm not a student. I'm... Sometimes I, I love movies. I, I like some scenes, escenas in movies. Mm -hmm. That's like, no. wow. Never. Yeah. You don't cry in movies? No, mm. never. Me, I yes. cry. I always cry. Well, if the movie's good and I cry. But it depends. Depends on the movie. Mm. But the but sometimes I cry. Times. Yes. My yeah. heart is free. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Your heart is I am, I am I am a free queen. <laughs> <laughs> You're the frozen queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I don't know why, but I, I, I always cry. I, I... You don't like Luke. You don't, you don't like uh, Sarah. You don't look like. Yes, you look very sensitive. Yes. Yeah, very, in <laughs> very insensible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I cry with the news. You know, every day no, I go, my never. wife, my wife works in Miramonte, right? So every day I go pick her up and I, I always pass by um, Eros Boulevard by Metro Centro. And, you know, I saw this thing that made me cry last week. And um, because I wish I had my camera to take a picture. Um. You know when when you're coming to the traffic light and then after the traffic light there's an Uno and then Cebollina. Oh no, now it's Kentucky Fried Chicken and then Sykes. In Metro Centro is to my right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do you understand where I'm going? You are going nice from teacher. Metro Centro to through Tres Torres? Oh, yeah, okay, yes, away. yes. I'm going from Metro Centro to Tres Torres. Okay. But actually what I do is I always turn around in La Uno, you know. Mm -hmm. I, okay, but when I was passing Metro Centro, you can see a coffee cup. Yes. In the side, right? You, you see a coffee cup and um, I think it's Pollo Campestre. I think. The thing is that there was a, a birthday party there that day. There was a birthday party and then you saw, I saw a little girl, the little girl who are with the mothers cleaning the windows. But the little girl was outside in the street looking through the window. 
of looking at the clown and the piñata. Mm. But the little girl was happy. That's what made yeah. me cry. The little girl was, she was happy, you know? And I, oh my God, that was so sad. It was so, so sad. It really hurt, broke my heart because the, can you imagine a little girl in the street? She was happy. You should have seen her face. I don't know what, she couldn't listen. She couldn't see what was happening, but she was happy looking at the clown. Oh. And I said, oh my God. But one thing I did not like, you saw people eating in the party next to the window. Oh. Next, next to the window. How can you ignore that little girl? <laughs> I I told I told my wife, how how can people do that? And my wife yes. said, Wow, it's a party. I don't care. I immediately I go get that little girl. Come in, baby. Come, come, come here. Uh -huh. And I go speak with the El dueño de la fiesta. Look, I will pay for her, please. But you know, but um, I don't know. It just made me cry because I felt sad. But the thing is that that little girl, she was never sad. She was happy, only watching. That was beautiful. <laughs> I I think that was beautiful. So yeah, that's I am sensitive to that. Yeah. Every day. My unique moment when I. When I was crying, is when I <laughs> when I do tantrum. <laughs> yes, when I do when I do tantrum. What is tantrum? Um, berinche. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> But then no, but, you are not sensitive because you are angry. Yes, that's not sensitive. <laughs> For example, I can't when when I and I didn't know I was like that. But when when my when my son was born, and we had to take him like you know las inyecciones de three months, six months. Um, mm. The second time, the doctor Mitchell <laughs> said, mm. no, but the doctor told me please go outside. I, I couldn't. <laughs> Because I was crying already. I was looking at my son. And my son was like happy, you know. Oh my God, that was like daddy. Or like, Ooh, and I started crying and I started shaking. So then the doctor told me, please give me the baby. Give the baby to your wife. And please step outside. <laughs> me saco. <laughs> because I was crying. Really? And then, yes. And I think last year. There was a there was a possibility that my son maybe had um, he had COVID, so we had to take him to do an exam, and they had to put the swab in his nose. I vomited <laughs> because my son it hurt him. I couldn't see that, so I, I I ran outside of the parking lot and I started vomiting. Yeah, so. <laughs> So I am extremely sensitive. I hate that sometimes. I wish I wasn't that sensitive, but I am. And I cry. Oh, in movies, I cry. If the movie's good, I cry. But I, I don't only cry if the movie is like a sad movie or a love story. I cry if, if there's art. Mm. Do you know Sean Penn? Yes. Have you seen the movie, I Am Sam? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Can you tell me, Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump is, is nada comparado a, a, a Sean Penn and I Am Sam. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful movie. I was watching it and I was like crying on the whole movie. I look at my wife. My wife is cold. She's like, no te toca esto, man. She's like, no. Like, <laughs> oh my God, man. And then I was thinking, con quien me casé. Yeah, because if that, if I, I, I always tell people, if you don't cry in that movie, you don't have a heart. <laughs> It's an expression, though. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> excuse me. I don't have heart. Have you seen that movie? 
yes, <laughs> but I I never cry when I watch movies. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that's a good thing. That means you're strong. Okay, next it says, do you challenge accepted ideas? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Do you keep an eye out for new fashions and products? Sometimes. Yeah, now I don't because money doesn't permit me. <laughs> I think when you're single, Bradley. when you're single and you have no no responsibilities, yeah, be for new products. You know, like, oh my god, I can't wait. What in six months the new iPhone is like, oh, really? Man? It's, you know, people go to sleep, you know, and the day the iPhone yeah. comes out, it's like, <laughs> yeah. do you adapt easily to new situations? Yes. Always. Depend. <laughs> yeah, I think true, that depends, but eventually, yes, right? Yes. Do you trust your guesses, intuitions, and insights? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, um, I always trust my intuition. Always. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you more interested in the future than the past? Yes. <clears throat> Maybe it depends. Depend. Okay. Okay. Depends on what? Like. Depends on the situation. Because if the past is, for example, affecting my present and probably my future. Okay, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, one thing I really recommend you, when you're going to have a baby, you should really, really have exams, you and your partner. Yes. No, because uh, normally, you know, like, you meet somebody, you get married, hey, mm -hmm. let's have a baby, and you have a baby, mm -hmm. good. But I'm telling you because remember I told you I am an interpreter? So I frequently interpret doctors, pediatricians, mm -hmm. and almost every day they always ask the mother, okay, I need to ask you, cuando van a los chequeos de embarazo, mm -hmm. do your does your family have this, 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 and this, and this? Yes, yes, no, no, no. Then they interview the father. Y wow, la tecnología ya saben de lo que va a padecer ese bebé y no ha nacido. <laughs> yes, because sometimes <clears throat> the, they are incompatible. Incompatible, yes. Incompatible. Mm -hmm. That's true. And that Sarah. can affect the baby. Yeah. Yes. Sarah, did you cry in Bambi? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh cry. my God, you did not cry in Bambi. What about oh, in I Haiti? Didn't... When when Haiti returns to her house, <laughs> abuelito, no. abuelo, <laughs> you, you did not cry in that part. No. Oh my and, God. And when when Carita walks. Oh. And what about <laughs> and what about la pasión de Cristo? No, I no, didn't that, like that movie it. I didn't like. Uh, <laughs> that movie I didn't like. I thought it was too exaggerating. Yes, it's very sangriento. It was too bloody. No, but you know, it became to a point that you, you're like, no, nah, that's impossible. <laughs> was like, too much. I was like, at the beginning it was good, but then too much. It's like no, no human person can do that. No way. Yes. So after... I'm going to tell you uh, about uh, a situation. Um, it was by uh, no, three years two years ago. I I had a um yeah uncle and he died, and when I when I went to the cemetery mm -hmm. my my family 
was crying a lot. Uh, <laughs> and sorry, but you didn't. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. And, and what your family said? Um, nothing. No. <laughs> but you All know what? My family <laughs> was crying, and I, I, I remember I sat down and in that mo in that in this in that moment, and but I didn't cry. I don't know. But you but, know what? That's not that's not good or bad. I mean, it's just that's how you are. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't have tears. Yeah, maybe you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a joke. No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's true. Sorry, no, Sarah. no, no. But no, but um, but are you sentimental though? What about when you see your baby sick? Do you get worried? No, um, it's the the normal for me. When your but children I, are sick, like really, really sick, like you don't get worried? Um, no, because I I try to to have a call mm -hmm. and I yeah, I went to the doctor with with she or okay. but I didn't cry. Okay, cool. Well maybe that's a good thing. Who said when Clarita walked? That was funny. <laughs> I, I didn't cry. Remember, I think it was like five or 10 years ago, they started playing Haiti again in Channel 4. I think that todo mundo clavado watching Haiti again. Like, <laughs> and I watched the last episode and I did cry. Like, <laughs> I cried with candy too. Candy, yeah. <laughs> Some sense of kind. We we had Chico, the dog. Oh yeah, that's a sad movie. Yes. Yeah, that's a very sad movie. Yes. And there are so, some movies that I just don't watch. I don't know what the Cabanas movie. The Cabana. Cabana. What is Cabana? It's a movie for a. Uh, it's a religious movie, but it stay in Netflix. It's about for a, a man when the killer your down. The number, the number in Spanish, La Cabaña. Okay. Hey, this did you see that nice. movie with Eugenio Verdes? No se aceptan yes. devoluciones. Oh yes. man, that movie was. I was not expecting that movie to be good, <laughs> and it was very good. Have you seen that movie, uh, Irena? Yes. yes, teacher. It was, it, I love the twist. Yes. It, it was good. Yes. I but cried in that movie. <laughs> me too. There was another one that with uh, Will Smith, looking for happiness, something. The pursuit yeah. of happiness. The pursuit of happiness. This yes. Is, this when, is when they are sleeping in the bathroom. Oh man. That's... Yes. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very sad. That makes me cry. Yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Okay. Hey, now I, <laughs> I'm going to watch movies now. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a beautiful movie. It's kind of old. It's, it's called The Mission. I don't know if you've seen that movie, La Mission. Yes. Go. Now, that movie. It's art, really. Yes. It's very, I mean, very... I don't like, I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry if I offend you, but I do not like Lord of the Rings. I have never, it's called, I have never seen that. No, me too. I will never see it because everything is technology. When I say, wow, los escenarios, please, that's computer generated. <laughs> if you watch, if you watch the mission, that is talent, the, the director. Yes, Sir Ham or JJ? Yes. When you see the man falling in, oh man, and the music. In fact, today in the morning, I was alone. So I was listening to music, classical music all morning. 
So I was Did listening. You... I was listening to the soundtrack of that movie. It was very good. It's Robert De Niro. Man, that's a beautiful, beautiful movie. That's art. Por eso cuando alguien dice, wow, Señor de los Anillos. What do they call man? Ni, ni, ni me molesto en hablar de películas. <laughs> like, oh, no, mentiras. Another sad movie is The Impossible. It's yeah, about a, a family in a tsunami, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. and it was a yeah. true story, correct? Yes, yeah. it's true. Mm -hmm. In the in the mission, the actor is Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons, Robert De Niro, and um, Jer uh, what's his name? Um, El de I will find you and I will kill you. What's his name? Oh, oh my God, now I have to see it. What's his name? I'm taken. It's, oh, he's a, he's a very good actor. It's Liam Nielsen. Liam Nielsen. Okay. It's Liam Nielsen, Jeremy Irons and Robert De Niro. Have you seen that movie, Irena? No, I don't know. I'm not sure, teacher. Okay, it's I about will... something like conquista. Yes, about Portugal um, and maybe I it's... I have some, but I don't remember exactly. Yeah, no, okay, then maybe you don't because when you watch that movie, you never forget that you watched um, that's, that movie. Uh, that's why I think uh, um I'm just uh hear about it, but I I haven't seen. I haven't seen, I haven't watched, I haven't watched. Yeah, sometimes my son, he's six, but sometimes I start watching movies, you know, like with him. Mira, Papa, come here, look, that's Tony Montana. You know, and I tell him, does he Tony Montana? Hola, mama. No, you know, the two things. And I start, but I just want my son to remember Tony Montana or classic movies. Pero ya se las puede, ya se puede el tema del padrino. And, you know, I have to teach him good things. <laughs> I don't like La del, La del Padrino. Oh, I love those movies, man. They're, they're the I best. I don't know. I think they're kind of boring for me. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know that movie? That movie, people don't understand it. The, the problem is you have to watch that movie more than five times, maybe, to understand it. Yes. Because that movie is really psychological because okay. it encounters Maybe. encounters every possible feeling. Cada sentimiento posible de un ser humano, it's in that movie. Ah, okay. Amor, odio, envidia, venganza, everything. Oh everything. If when you analyze the movie, if you watch it again, mm -hmm. it's very good. It's okay. very, very good. I will try. Yeah. There is and, another movie that I never understand is The Matrix. Yeah, those movies I really don't like. I I just I think um I never watched the first one complete and the another ones menos. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, me too. I I don't really like uh, science fiction movies. I don't like. I like more like drama movies. That's mm -hmm. why I don't like The Matrix. Uh, Harry Potter or ni digamos El Señor de los Anillos. Yeah, no, el Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. First ones are bears, but now the problem is exaggerated. That exaggerated. Now there are no more good movies. It's very strange to see a, a good movie. Yes. Yeah. All right, class, then good. Sarah's thinking, when did I cry? When did I cry? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But sometimes, do you cry sometimes when you're very I happy? Do. Sorry. Sometimes people cry when they're happy. Yes, um, mm -hmm. you laugh a lot. Yeah. Oh, because in my case it's different because um, sometimes I. I feel, I felt, uh, yeah, I felt different emotion, but I didn't cry. Uh, my unique, uh, my unique 
time when I was crying is when I I do my parinches. <laughs> um, or when I when I was hungry. And but I don't know what happened with me because I think um how do you say hereditary? Hereditary. Okay. It was hereditary because my dad is the same with me. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, it's maybe. Funny. But you know what? My mother, my mother and my father were like that with me. I don't remember my mother laughing, actually. I, I don't think my mother ever laughed. <laughs> when I think about it, like my mother was very, very cold with me. But <laughs> yeah, but it happened. It's more it's just, easy, and then I will I will feel uh, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. I hate another mm -hmm. person, another uh, yeah, mm -hmm. another person, mm -hmm. and I. It's more easy that for me that. Hey, that if I you're happy, how do you happy, ever how do you ever feel sad? Mm. No. Rarely. Okay. No. Because yeah, that's, I, that's the thing. I, I would like to be with you. I, I would like to be like you, Sarah. No, yes, because... nothing affects you. Yes. Nothing affects you, negative or positive. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, because in my theory is I, for example, today is one page. Tomorrow is another page. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. And in an, another page, you can write your your day, but in the in the last page, you wrote your day and uh, in the um, um is in the past. Yeah, but remember and books always have a twist. Stories always have a twist. So work on your twist. <laughs> maybe <laughs> alright class then um, thank you very much I'll see you tomorrow we'll continue more with hoy voy a ver the mission <laughs> I don't know if I have it but I'm going to download it <laughs> okay hey I'm, I'm happy JJ knows that movie it's cool okay class then I will see you tomorrow then alright have a good night. good night tomorrow have a good night everybody bye bye, bye. Bye-bye.